I'm Troy Kirby with a quick look at the 2022 Washington State Legislative Session. On Saturday, the House floor debated in gross substitute House Bill 1169, which would overhaul various sentencing enhancements, such as eliminating controlled substances in protected zones, involving a minor in street gang-related felonies, and removes a court order multiple firearm or deadly weapons enhancement to be served consecutively. The measure before us deals with sentencing enhancements, those extra periods of confinement added for certain factors, uh, particularly in this bill related to firearms and deadly weapons, and also being in protected zones. Uh, there, this bill addresses a flaw that has long distorted uh, this particular area of sentencing, uh, those who committed uh, offenses with firearms, not necessarily using the firearms, but perhaps possessing them, or uh, possessing a firearm with uh, multiple people on the scene. The problem is that the uh, firearms and deadly weapon enhancements, uh, anywhere between 18 months to five years additional time, uh, have to be imposed consecutively or on top of each other, stacked on top of each other. Uh, and there's no discretion with the judge and no ability for the prosecutor to order that those enhancement periods be served con uh, concurrently instead this particular issue is one that hits all of our it hits all of our districts. This is this is not an issue that's a Republican or a Democrat um, concern. I hear from families that are Republican, are Democrat, and this bill at a time when violent crime is off the charts, the murder rate is is exponentially growing. There doesn't seem to be a day that is going by that we don't have family members, friends, people that we care about that are either dying from drugs, which are just absolutely out of control. And the people that are selling these things and pushing these things are getting easier and easier sentences. We can accomplish the goals of deterrence and incapacitation in a much more cost-effective manner without loading up on multiple sentencing enhancements and stacking them consecutively. Stacking of, of enhancements consecutively was prohibited by the United States Department of Justice in the 1990s because they realized it led to draconian, excessive, and sentences that just didn't make any sense. Um, this is not a step in the right direction. This is a 34 page document, 34 page bill. I've read through it one more time over and over again and the hour is late. So I'm not gonna go through point by point by point why this is not a good bill. I want you to just listen one more time to some of the words that were uh, given to us tonight by the prime sponsor. Possession of guns while committing crimes. Possession of deadly weapons, committing crimes in protected zones. Possession of deadly weapons while committing crimes. Madam Speaker, the crime rate across our nation is skyrocketing. And I hear report after report after report that the citizens of the United States do not appreciate this soft on crime approach because it is not working. Unfortunately, in the past year, those concerns have been the public safety reform that we did here on the House floor. And we've seen a response to that. We do have concerns, Madam Speaker. We have concerns regarding the sen sentencing enhancements because we've seen crime increase in these areas. Now, the thing about detention and making sure you pay your fines, making sure victims are made whole, is the basis of Americans making sure that we have the civil justice, that we are safe, that we are safe in our homes, that we are safe at school, that we're safe at work, because you know if you're willing to commit one of these violent crimes, that you'll be held responsible. Unfortunately, when the target starts moving, Madam Speaker, a lot of people are starting to realize they're not being held responsible. 
I thought it was interesting that the uh, the gentleman started off talking about uh, possession of weapons. And yet, just a couple of nights ago, we had another bill where we were saying that uh, there was a proliferation of uh, non-serialized firearms showing up. And I mentioned then that the problem wasn't with the proliferation of those showing up. It was with the proliferation of those showing up in the criminal element. The bill passed the House 5345 on F Saturday, February 12th, and goes on to the Senate for consideration. Thank you for watching the 2022 Washington State Legislative Session.